好，第十六条啦，就讲返呢一号仔、二号仔啦，佢哋各自有可能嘅基因型系乜？咁基因型呢，唔系纯合型就系、是、集合型㗎啦。咁啊，睇一睇族谱呢，有啲咩嘅启示呢？俾到我哋先。根据返毛中生有三角形呢，我哋大约都知得到㗎啦。罗毛嘅特性呢，就系 dominant 嘅，所以用大家 A。a f f e c t i v e 嘅特性咧就係 recessive 嘅，所以用世界 A。咁而家啦，已經列曬咧，大致上佢哋所必然肯定嘅 gene 提出嚟俾大家噶啦。例如啦 ，cross X 嘅呢個太太一定係世界世界 A 啦。阿三號啦，同埋佢呢個咁樣嘅誒誒細妹啦，或者家姐啦，都一定係世界世界 A 啦，因為 recessive a l l e 啊嘛。跟住再睇下目標人物啦，一號仔咧就係大街 A， 但係楞住隔離嗰個大世界咧不知道。二號仔呢，佢都由於係羅摩嘅關係啦，都必然有大街 A 㗎啦。咁但係隔離嗰個係乜嘢呢？又唔知道。有冇其他嘢可以去俾我哋知道下呢？咁例如啦，呢、這、一個 cross Y 嘅呢個男仔啊，我哋呢就必然知道佢大世界 A。因為點解啊？本身佢係羅摩嘅，一定呢係嚟自於阿一號仔呢俾個大街 A 佢㗎啦。但係問題啦，另一個呢，佢嘅阿媽呢就一定係俾個世界 A 佢。咁所以啦，佢一邊係大世界 A 啦。跟住啦，同樣情況呢，其實都係喺 set 呢度發生嘅。因為根據無中生有三角形呢 s e t 嘅呢一對夫婦呢，必然係大世界。如果唔係嘅話，都唔會生到阿三號仔同埋佢個姊妹出嚟。問題就係講緊呢一個大世界 A， 佢所收返嚟嘅會係邊個俾佢呢？佢有冇可能係一個俾大街一個俾世界佢呢？啊，可以嘅喎，可能㗎嘛？又又有冇可能係二號仔俾個大街 A 佢？跟住倒返轉頭啦，呢、这個就呢、这個老公呢，先俾個世界 A 佢呢，其實都有可能啊嘛。咁所以啦，二號仔呢，佢真係有機會大街 A 大街 A， 亦都有機會大世界 A 嘅。咁跟住啦，就去到呢一號仔咯。一號仔呢，雖然佢個仔女全部都係大世界 A， 咁啊因為個世界 A 一定係嚟自於個老婆啊嘛。但係佢自己有冇可能係必然係大世界 A 呢？都唔一定嘅，佢可以大街大街㗎。因為佢俾嘅一定係俾大街㗎啦，你見到全部呢都係羅毛嘅，咁一定有個大街嚟自於佢㗎啦。但係佢隔離係咩嘢呢？我真係不得而知。咁所以呢，佢仍然呢都係大世界 A， 大大街 A 都有可能。咁所以答案呢就會係 D 啦。Okay, so for question sixteen is talking about the individuals one and two. So what are their probable genotypes? So for the genotype is either homozygous or heterozygous. So let's see the pedigree. Any insight we can draw? So according to the out of nothing triangle, so we can see that for the normal characteristic, which is the dominant characteristic, so I use the capital letter N, and for the affective characteristic, which is the recessive characteristic, so that's why I use the small N. So I would like to talk about some of the individuals. They must, uh, have such a uh, genotype. One hundred percent confirm is that for this wife in cross X, she must be small small A, and for the individual three and his sister, they must be small small A because they are affected individual, showing the recessive characteristic, and then for the cross X, these three individuals they are all heterozygous because they receive one dominant characteristic from their father individual one. And then they must receive the other recessive allele from their mother, so that's why they must be heterozygous. And then that's why for the individual one, so we can confirm that he must have a capital letter A. But what about the other、uh, letter? Okay, is it possible for small A? Is still possible. So, but you may say that oh, but I do not see that、uh, he has a recessive offspring. But the point is that for the pedigree, we do not expect that they can produce one hundred or two thousand offspring. So that's why the sampling size is not large enough. So small a, big a is still possible. But is it also possible for him to be big a, big a? Is still possible. So that's why individual one can be homozygous and heterozygous. And for cross y, individual two, she. Must have a dominant allele big A, but what about the other allele? So according to the out of nothing triangle, so for the cross sets, they must be the heterozygous individuals, and we focus on this individual. This lady, she must be heterozygous genotype, so she may receive the big A from father, and then maybe small A from mother. So that's why individual two, she can be heterozygous. But it's still possible for her to receive the big A from mother and then receive the small A from father. So that's why individual two she can also be big A big A. So that's why for this uh pedigree, 
because uh, the sampling size is not that big, so that's why we cannot really 100% confirm for the dominant characteristic, particularly individual 1s and 2s to, uh, for their genotype. So that's why both of them can be heterozygous and homozygous. So the answer is D.